1111 is just around the corner and it is the biggest sale of the year. Kaya naman, I'll be sharing my top 11 go-to beauty products that I have been loving lately. Either I personally love them or I love using them on my clients for my professional makeup work. Pero bago yan guys, is shout out ko muna yung mga brands na nagpadala ng PR sa akin. So ang dami nila dito, nakatambak na sila and it's high time. Do na talagang i-share ko sila sa inyo. Some products na try ko na but some, I still yet to swatch them and test them out. So the first brand that they sent me is yung Get Ready With Me Cosmetics. GRWM, thank you so much. Next brand that they sent me PR is si Detail Cosmetics. And they sent me two PRs at different times. So the first thing they sent is yung Invisible Setting Powder. Nila. So after ng Jelly Lips, this is the product that they released. By the way, yung mga products that I mentioned ko dito, if you want to get them, I will link ko sila sa description box below. And yung links na yon ay affiliate links which means your girl might be earning a small commission when you buy products through those links with no additional cost to you guys. The second product na pinadala sa akin ng Detail Cosmetics, ang dami nilang launches. Nakakaloka. Bongga si Detail Cosmetics. Hindi nagpapaawat. So, eto yung ano naman nila, yung Ano tawag na to? Satin Lux. Parang sheer yung coverage ng lipis na to. And it's very dewy siya. And if gusto niyo na gumawa ko ng swatch party and review ng detail cosmetics ng Satin Lux, let me know so that I'll do it for you guys. Next brand is from Issy and Go. And of course, nagpadala sila ng active skin tints nila and their newest product, which is yung active concealer. Yung active skin tint nila first ay nag-iba na yung packaging. So instead of the airless pump type na active skin tint packaging, inimba nila to a squeeze type na lang na packaging. Actually, this is way better compared sa first packaging nila because hindi nag-work yung pump. And also, nagpadala din sila sa akin ng mga active concealers. Also, nagdagdag sila ng bagong powder, which is their radiant finish na powder. So, let's proceed to the next brand, which is Vice Cosmetics. So, this is the Y2K PR of Vice Cosmetics, and the bag is really, really cute. So, we have here yung Carry Boom nila na eyeshadow palette. Na-try ko na yung Carry Boom palette, pero yung browns lang. Nagustuhan ko yung performance ng eyeshadow on my eyes dahil hindi siya nagpo-fall out. Last but not the least, nagpadala yung Anne Klutz Beauty Solution sa akin ng PR nila. And they sent over their beauty sponsor. So thank you so much, Mama Anne and team, for sending this over. So yun guys, yung mga product launches lately. Again, thank you so much to the brands for sending these over. And now, of course, let's head on to the main part of this video, which are my top 11 ko na go-to makeup products that you should try out this 11-11. Again, these are the products that I personally love using or love using on my clients because I've been doing a lot of client work lately. Actually, sobrang natutuwa ako that I got to work on a lot of different faces because I get to test out the products talaga on different skin types to see how the product performs. First product na super duper love ko talaga both on me and on my clients ay yung Jelly Lip Care ng Detail Cosmetics. So again, they have two variants. Merong Jelly Lip Plumper and the Lip Care. I love the Lip Care better because ano siya, wala siya yung warming active ingredient na nasa lip plumper. Safe siyang gamitin sa clients ko because pa hindi naman sila magulat sa warming active kasi medyo matapang siya. The reason why I like this product a lot is when my lips absorb na the jelly lip care, talagang, talagang ready na yung lips ko for the bakbakan malakasang lipstick situation. And next to get ready sa holiday glow natin, of course I have here my must have sa aking skincare routine which is yung Pons na Ultimate Youth Essence Serum and again this is such a must have because it contains 10 super ingredients in just one bottle and sa 10 ingredients na yun, yung favorite ko talaga ay yung retinol triple hyaluronic acid niacinamide and collagen madami pa silang ingredients na napaka beneficial sa balat natin but those are just my 4 personal skincare ingredients that I look for 
when I include something in my routine because I have dry skin. Disclaimer lang guys na I'm very minimal when it comes to my skincare routine. I don't like to incorporate a lot of steps. So what I do is I just cleanse my face and then I apply a hydrating toner and then to lock it in I use a serum which is again yung Pond's Ultimate Youth Essence na serum and after that my skin feels so good because it's cleansed hydrated and nourished na that's why i like this product a lot because napaka efficient niya when it comes to the skincare routine because madami akong steps that hindi ko na kailangan include because it's all included in one bottle so that's why i really really do like this product and recommend to you guys if you've been wanting to try out this product, now is the time because Pons is offering major discounts sa kanilang stores this coming 11-11. And also guys, it's such a great gift idea this coming Christmas. So you can give this to your moms, titas, lolas, whoever, or maybe even yourself. That's why I like this product a lot because it's efficient niya when it comes to the skincare routine. Because madami akong steps that I don't need to include because it's all included in one bottle. So that's why I really, really do like this product and recommend to you guys. The next product is still from Pons and I super duper love this on my clients. I like it as well on me, but I find myself using this more on my clients because I don't know, I just have more time on them than on me. <laughs> I take care of them more than myself. Shut out. But the next product is this Insta Bright Glow Up Cream ng Pons. And I use this to prep the skin or I mix it sa foundation na mismo para maging illuminating yung base makeup nila if the client requests for a natural glowing skin situation. So this is my go-to product. The reason why I like this a lot because it gives that inner kind of glow and yung glow ng product na to ay hindi siya shimmering kind of glow. For the next three products, spoiler alert guys na lahat sila ay from Issy & Co. Talagang I've been loving Issy & Co products lately kasi naman palaban yung products nila. So first product that we have here from Issy is their loose powder. Ito yung illuminating finish nila. Ginagamit ko to to prep the skin para makontrol yung oil sa T-zone area and para mas maging long last Thing, yung foundation on the skin. Pero guys, napaka-konti lang ng product na ina-apply ko during the skin prep on the T-zone area. It's not a lot, but it's such a helpful trick. If you want to see how I prep the skin with this powder, let me know para magawan ko ng tutorial. The next is the Co product that I have been loving I nagulat ako, surprisingly, ay yung Active Skin Tint nila. So actually, gustong-gusto ko naman yung performance ng Active skin tint ng SCN ko. Maganda yung feel niya on the skin. It's just that wala lang talaga siyang coverage. And I don't like it dahil I have acne marks. It just can't cover the blemishes that I have. I've been using the active skin tints not alone, guys. I have to pair it up with a foundation that has a good coverage para magamit ko yung active skin tint nila. So you might ask, why not just use the foundation that already has a good coverage? Well, the reason for that is, mas gusto ko yung pagka breathable ng skin tint. It's just that kulang lang siya ng coverage. Kaya naman minimixan ko siya ng foundation that has good coverage para to maintain its breathability, but at the same time, meron na siyang good coverage that can cover up the blemishes that I have. And then now let's proceed to the concealers naman ng Issy and Co. And they sent me three shades. So we have here FN2, MW2, and MW3. Yung concealers sa local market natin ay napaka hit or miss. And most of the concealers ay miss sila. Either napaka drying or napaka walang coverage. Napaka sheer niya. So wala siyang silbe as a concealer. Or also, yung shades ay masyadong yellow or masyadong orange, masyadong pink or napaka ashy naman sa Filipina skin. So, first time ko naka encounter ng concealer na maganda yung coverage, maganda yung finish, maganda yung blendability, and swak talaga sa Filipina skin. 
Although, again, hindi siya exactong-exacto sa skin color mo as an individual. But when you buy two products or three, you're sure na when you mix it, makakuha ka talaga ng perfect match for your skin. The next set of products I related naman siya sa eye area natin. So the first one that I have here is from Detail Cosmetics. Ito yung super fine liner nila and I love their super fine liners a lot. It's such a go-to. Napaka-helpful talaga na pangkila yung super fine liner. Specifically ngayon, yung issue share ko sa inyo na shade ay yung shade na hazelnut. Most of my clients kasi ay nila yung pang malakasan na kilay that you normally see on me. So the shade that I grab for is yung shade na hazelnut and I get a lot of good reviews whenever I use this shade on them because soft siya na approach sa kilay and it's not overpowering but it can still frame the face. For the eyeliner, sobrang favorite ko before yung Vice Cosmetics and Anklots na soft brown liner pero dahil limited edition siya Wala na. Nung naubos ko na siya, hindi na ako makabili ulit because na sold out na din yung soft brown liner nila and sobrang sad ko talaga. Pero I'm so happy na nakahanap ako ng alternative para sa soft brown liner nila and nakita ko yun guys sa Nichido. So this is their eye pencil and this is in the shade Hazelnut. Yan, Hazelnut din yung shade niya. So, this is actually what I'm using right now. Before, gustong gusto ko yung black eyeliner, pero ngayon nagsawa na ako because parang napaka-obvious na nag-eyeliner ka talaga and, and medyo matapang siya for an everyday look. Kaya naman, nag-switch ako to a brown eyeliner. Don't just get any brown eyeliner shades that you can find. Dahil if you get a brown eyeliner na napaka-deep and dark, it still looks like a black eyeliner pencil from afar. You want something that's in between and I recommend that you get the shade Hazelnut because it's not too dark and he didn't din siya gano ka light. You know how much I love my L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara? Pero lately, I have been trying a new mascara and it's from K Palette. Ito yung one day lash up nila na Silky Long Mascara. This one is their lengthening mascara and napaka totoo naman talaga that it really does lengthen my lashes. And then also currently I've been loving mga individual lashes because mas makaka-customize ako ng look ng lashes or ng eye makeup when I use individual lashes. I got myself two lengths, so meron ako ng 10mm and then 8mm. The main reason why I got individual lashes is because when I started to work with clients again, I realized ko that some strip lashes just doesn't work on them. Kaya naman mas maganda for specific faces to really customize the look of the lashes with individual lashes. Last but not the least, na mentioned ko na to sa ibang vlogs ko, but I just have to mention it again. At yung Teviant na beauty sanitizer. It's such a must-have, lalo ng pandemic, and maganda siyang pang sanitize ng tools natin and makeup brushes. So that's it, you guys, for our budo session. Let me know in the comment section below. Kung ano yung mga products na gusto niyo matry and why this 1111. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video. And of course, please tag me if nabudol ko man kayo. If you have any more makeup or beauty questions for me, then message me on my Instagram account. It's a makeup babuya. Just remember, no hate, just love.